Dear Shenhua, my work is done. The Phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny has come. Go with the one who holds the Phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the Sword of Seven Stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. What the? Leo. Right. Dragon and a phoenix. Just like the mirrors. So this is what he was working on. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him, the strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten, alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. The one who holds the phoenix. Bailu Village. We might find some clues about my father there. Let's go. Sure. Hey, Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. Are you certain that letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure it didn't contain any clues? Uh... Shenhua? I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand.
well, Liu. Xinhua, who's this? This is Liu. He saved me from drowning in the river. Did something happen? A group of thugs tore through here two days ago. Oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Let's keep moving. Hey, Shenhua. What's the matter? Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Because they said some thugs came by. Yes, but it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Even for you? Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. The village feels different somehow. I can imagine. Let's ask around for some clues. Let's go. That was a pretty old bridge. Indeed. That's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes. It's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the village up ahead? Yes. Everyone lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. Let's not waste another second. I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Liu. I'll try another settlement. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Nope. All I care about is martial arts. Okay then. Hi there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? Oh, nothing. Fear not, for I am the great Su Zixiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai Chi. Will do.
I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I don't know. Really? I don't know anything. I see. Excuse me. Oh, hello. How about a game of lucky hit? Um... Come on, come on, try it. Not right now. Oh, so you don't like lucky hit. Lucky hit. Hello, will you try lucky hit? Now then, pick a platform. Will you keep going? Maybe some other time. Hope to see you again soon. Excuse me. Hey there, lad. How about a game? Do you have a moment? It costs 10 yuan to play. You open your wallet, or I shut my mouth. <laughs> pale toss? Wanna try pale toss? Thanks. Aim carefully. Wasn't bad. Want to keep your streak going? Maybe some other time. Yep, see you around then. Hi there. The game is Pale Toss. As I was saying earlier, can't a man make a living? You're not helping any. Right. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Zhou next door, but Zhou is likely working right now. Maybe Zhou's daughter Lin knows where he is. I see. Hey there. Yeah? That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenhua tells me that too. You know Shenhua? She's my friend. Is she your friend too? <laughs> yeah, she is. Say, do you know Mr. Yun? No. 
He's a stonemason. A stonemason? Just like my daddy? Your dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. Can I talk to him? Uh-huh. He comes home at 7 at night. He does. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. No problem. Pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, Daddy. Well, get to it. I haven't seen Yuen around. If you know anything, I... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. Then they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? They were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuan's place too? I don't know. Yuan was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. Those thugs might have something to do with that, too. Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. Bye-bye, mister! Bye! It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Not about your father, no. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father, then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right, then. We'll go together. Good.
there's a scroll. Doubt I'd understand it anyway. Thank you. 